uh, the holidays, time for treats, gifts, and so much more. Stay tuned to see how I made these beautiful bath bombs. Okay, let's get right into it. First, I'm gonna zero out my scale and then add two cups of baking soda. Then I'm gonna add one cup of citric acid. The recipe calls for SLSA, but I didn't have any, so I didn't add it. Next, I added one teaspoon of Kalon clay. And then I added one teaspoon of glycerin. In addition, I added one teaspoon of arrowroot, and then one teaspoon of polyadesorbate, and then I also added uh, two teaspoons of witch hazel. And I want to give a big shout out to Beth of the Soaping Night Owl channel. This was actually a recipe that was on her channel and she said that we could use it if we wanted to so I decided to make a video and try out the recipe. I um, altered some of the ingredients but check out the description box below because you can also view her channel and see how she made her bath bombs. And now I'm about to add one ounce of castor oil with my amazing fragrance. It smells just like winter pine trees. I decided to have three colors, so I'm just separating the recipe so I can add my colorant. Okay, and here comes my favorite part, the moon cake mold. I absolutely love the moon cake molds. It makes everything so beautiful. No matter what you put inside of it, as long as your recipe is good, your product will come out really pretty. Okay, so I tried to salvage all of the recipe, but that didn't work, so eh. And ta-da, here are the holiday mini bath bombs. I really enjoyed making this video and making these adorable miniature bath bombs. They smell so awesome and they look even cuter. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Once again, a big shout out to Night Owl Soaping with Beth. Um, stay tuned for more great videos and check out the description box below for the recipe.